It's not a walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly so you can see what it looks like. This is Sports Car GT by Electronic Arts on the PS1. It's on their uh, value series, which I suppose means it's cheap shit, but really, it's not that bad. I thought I'd record this because I know one or two people are getting bored with the Acorn Electron footage. Uh, yes. I've played this a couple of times in the past week. I was trying to record it on the big plasma TV downstairs, but this camera just doesn't like plasma TVs at all. Um, and I don't think that's a, a glitch common to this camera. I've seen footage of other people recording from plasmas and it just doesn't work. So yeah, I thought I would record it up here just to break things up a little bit. And I have to say, I mean, I didn't play this back in the day. I bought this from a charity shop in Brighton about three years ago. Uh, and I've played it twice up until now. And I thought it was going to be absolutely rubbish. I mean, budget PS1 games are frequently pretty poor. But I'm enjoying this. I like it. Um, you know, the graphics, are, they're not up to Gran Turismo standard by any means. They're quite blocky. But they're not bad. You know, they definitely do the job. And the draw distance is good. You know, you haven't got stuff popping up right slap bang in front of you just before you hit it which happens in some crappy type games I think this is a lower resolution than uh, your Gran Turismo's and your, was it V, v I think it was V-Rally 2 I'm not sure, it may have been V-Rally but I think it was V-Rally 2 that was really quite high res for, whoops, for the PS1 and, and impressive. This, I think, is in the lower resolution, which is making it a bit chunky, but the speed is good. It, it's very fluid. I mean, it's not your 60 frames a second fluid. It's probably about 25, but it's doing the job. And I like it. The handling is nice and predictable. It's probably not really uh, ever so realistic, but it does the job. It's fun. You can slide it about without completely losing control, and I like that. There's some music going on there. I'm not sure how well you can hear it, but... Uh, Fortunately, the music is drowned out by the engine noise, which is usually a good thing because I don't care much for the music they tend to put on racing games. Apart from... Uh, I can't remember, was it Gran Turismo 2 or Gran Turismo 3? One of those, it had absolutely awesome music. I think it was 3. Definitely didn't like what they put on 4, and on 5 Prologue, meh, passes me by completely. I think that's down to me getting old, but the music on here is like nothing. I'm completely oblivious to it. Whoops. I'm not doing very well here. I'm in fourth and I'm... Uh, well, there's no way I'm going to catch those guys out there in front. I don't know if it's technically possible to catch them or if it's one of those where... Have you ever played games where it doesn't matter how hard you try, how good you are, you can't get beyond a certain position or rank or something as if it's just been programmed to be impossible? I don't know if that's the case here. It's more likely that I'm just crap. That's usually the case. But the game is good. I like it. Uh, if you find this in a bargain bin in a charity shop somewhere for 50p, I would recommend it. You know, um, yes, as an addition to a collection, I would say it's well worth it. 
as something if you specifically want a racing game like the best racing game you can get for the PS1 nah it's, it's not up there but for a quick blast a bit of fun just something to add to a collection definitely if you can get it for a nice cheap price I would well I did thank you for watching this and videos of other retro games in my collection and a video of my console and computer collection can be found on my YouTube channel along with a link to my website retrogamingcollector.com so take a look at that if you've got nothing better to do thank you for watching